we're going into the Alex and Kazuya matchup. What I know, I know. Three, I already two, mentioned it. One, Dark Blue's nasty go. with the reflector. Super, super quick with it. And Steve throwing that minecart out so, uh, so willingly and off and uh, often in order to really capitalize on his opponent being um, like capitalized for a little bit or not capitalized, but incapacitated is going to be super important uh, for Dark Blues to reflect it against Steve. I'm sorry, I'll explain all that, and uh, Zane's at 117%. I, I love getting distracted while I'm trying to explain to the audience, and then um, the game in question just kills Steve in almost under 30 seconds. Good stuff from Zane in order to uh, not fall into any of these Kazuya less trapping situations. Because really, one little breath from Kaizo will pretty much uh, take Zane's first dog. Oh, that's my beat death. So definitely seeing a lot more confidence from uh, Dark Blues regarding this matchup. And I love it, playing a very, very uh, safe zone away game as Kazuya and knowing exactly when to come in, uh, especially when Zane is mining for resources. Ooh, really, really, really uh, not wise move to mine those blocks. Which also, I learned that if Steve does a 1, 2, 3 block formation vertically, um, if you break the bottom block, you can walk through that. I had no idea, because it, it, it feels like you shouldn't fit through that, but like, you do. So take that as you will. I had no idea that existed. Oh, here we go, here we go. Second stop, back to pretty much a really uh, even game. Yeah, gold tools out at the moment. Not going to kill. What's... I, I, I at some point just need like, like a mini commentator face cam. I'm just gonna look at the camera like what just happened. Because what just happened? Zane stalled so up so long on the ledge that they were not able to recover with Steve up B with Elytra. It's 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 very vertical. It's a more horizontal recovery option that Steve has. It's very good off stage for trying to recover from a very safe distance. And wow, high reflector. It does 2.4% damage or times damage. Oh, this what this what this is huge for uh, Zane. Those little ladder that little quite literal ladder combo. Yeah, attempt that reflecting their mind card. Their mind card. Yeah, Dark Blue is definitely taking a more uh, slow approach, making sure that taking the most opportune moment to come in close against Zane. This is this is for their territory. This is back here. <gasps> yep, that scoop of the up smash. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that'll do it. That magma block scoop, which I don't even understand why it scoops in the first place. But, you know, just 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 make Steve more evil than he already is. It's, it's calm, it's calm. It's, it's a little calm. That little block. Yeah, right here. Oh! Try doing a back air. The armor didn't blast the entire move, of course. He had to get out of it, and then the... Long uh, hurtbox of or hitbox of the of smash just caught in it. Understandable, I get that. Actually, that's actually like that's, that's like not too much Steve like antics going on there. I can understand that. Wow! Oh no! Oh no! Alright, now we're seeing a little bit more of a different game plan uh, for Zane. They're doing, of course, some more resource uh, gathering, but not doing too many of those block uh, barricades that we've seen them do earlier. I'm. That's a projectile? Okay. I. I okay. I love learning that a lot of things are just new projectiles that I just didn't think would be a projectile, because why would I ever reflect it? So, uh, yeah, Steve Downso is apparently a projectile. So, y'all, just y'all are aware of that. 
the bait was such a good setup right there. Having the two blocks uh, instead of three, just a whatever, it's fine. But the thing is that a lot of players tend to like to want to break the blocks in order to get closer to Steve. And Steve has that forward smash range that I feel like comes out super fast. And also just catches you so so off guard when you're trying to get those uh, those blocks out of the way. So really got insane for that really uh, really superb setup. Really small, really uh, small setup going, but like, once again, trying to do it again. We also have, of course, Diamond Tools on deck, and the uh, Reinforced Minecarts are also uh, available to us now that we have our uh, Gold Bar on, on uh, for Zane. A little bit TNT setup, and the Command Grab is going to be taking it right then and there. Alright, now we have Kazi with Rage, not getting in there, not getting into there either. Instead of getting instead, we would get punished into a back air for it. Ooh, don't not like this again. <gasps> I think Dark Blue saved them. I'm pretty sure Steve would have been able to come back either way, but I think Dark Blue's uh, helped save uh, Zayn and give them a better chance of coming back to the stage more uh, efficiently and safely. Which is really unfortunate because now uh, Dark Blue is in a really precarious situation where now he has one one stock, Zane's at 84%, and they have Diamond Tools, and Diamond Tools do so much damage, especially that Diamond back Pickaxe back air, which I know they're going to be fishing for very soon, or that the, the, the spike hitbox of the fair is also so devious. I, I actually love the, adapt the, not the adaptation, but like the, the progress that Zane has shown with this character. Much more efficient sludge hyper situations, much more efficient setups, and also really, really uh, fast timings on the on like the block formation. Super amazing. But finally getting that command grab and taking out second Zane's second stock. And now, not very uh, bad situation. We have Zane only with gold tools, not that good. And uh, we have Kazit with rage. I mean, now we're, we're allowing Zane to get too many resources now, which is really, really scary. Once Zane gets that diamond, it's, it's pretty much a game over situation if they are able to get that fair or bear or that f smash which does, it does come out super fast look at it it's, it's, it's awful it's evil very wise using, using the uh the up b as a, a hitting tool now uh, we have iron pickaxe See, I'm telling you, we're, we're very much going up, going for these F smashes and these back airs. They're very strong, with most more than likely to take Kazuya, uh, Kazuya stock from mid stage or closer to the blast zone. This music is not helping. It, it, it's making me anxious. All right, game that back air, good. It's in there. Oh my God, that block saved them. Maybe. That was weird. I hate block tech mechanics. So what did I say? Did I not say it was an even game? No reinforced my cart, no uh no gold, no diamond. Really weird rollback away from the minecart rather than doing a reflector, which is a little more safe, but at least getting the uh upbeat to knock uh, Steve out of the Elytra and that devious kick that sends you at such a nefarious angle. You can't come back from that. Absolutely not. Kazuya do be winning those. Super, super scary third game. Kazuya or Dark Blue starting at 114% that whole stock and Zane having 0% on themselves. And getting it to a point where you're at 168 as Kazuya having so much rage and Zane at 152 dying. Started at like 137 or something like that. So we're switching over uh, to another Alex skin. Going over again with Dark Blue, uh, or Dark Blues. You see, Dark Blues and Kazuya, same person. If I say Dark Blues, I say Kazuya. It's the same person, same person. Now we got a whole new lot of newfound confidence in favor of Dark Blues. And Zane will not be, take, not, be, not be coming back a clean zero to death first 18 seconds of the match. And are we gonna be seeing it again is the question, no. Dark Blues will not be allowing uh, Zayn any moment of peace. And Zayn hasn't even I, I, I haven't even heard any 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 kink of like any uh any mining or not mining of uh, upgrading tools. I believe we're just at stone tools. Yes, we are. Zayn has definitely entered the Stone Age. Ooh.
They're very interesting, uh, these uh, down tilt into down air uh, setups that Zane has been using. And uh, Dark Boost has been very, very efficiently avoiding them, which is super great. We have Overdrive active, we have Kazuya with Rage going on. Very scary situation. I believe if we do like some kind of stunning, the, the stun move into a upbeat, that will definitely take Zane's stock. I believe like one or two more hits will take away uh, Kazuya's Overdrive. Yep, right there, one, one more hit. Diamond is active, we do have the reinforced, uh, reinforced minecart on deck. Me when, me when no, uh, no, no shovel, no pickaxe. Uh, now we have diamond pickaxe. We are definitely in that, that F smash and, uh, and backyard territory. And we've been that, but now it's a guarantee. Here we go, back throw, not gonna quite take it, but we'll be now setting up for a really efficient back air, possibly. Oh no, just fair, okay. <gasps> no. Unfortunately, because Zane was facing the wrong direction towards the glass zone, Elytra just, you know, up you can't really control where it goes. It will simply go in the direction you're facing. So not even being able to recover from that situation is really unfortunate, especially because they were only at 85% upon that stock being taken. And unfortunately, uh, I just this, this is a last game situation. Oh, oh, this is not good. <laughs> I got really into it. That was like best of five. I'm funny. Oh, that, that, is that gonna be game? That will be game. Wins. Really, I actually I understand the frustration. I really do. The uh, that electric mechanic of the upbe um not being kind of like permissible. Oh my god, hi. Tilde? Question mark? Oh my god, hi. <laughs> oh wait, is Tilde, is Tilde actually- Oh, I didn't know that. Hi Tilde. Uh, but either way, what I was trying to say is that Elytra forces you into only one direction. You are not able to kind of maneuver it like Captain Falcon up B, Hero up B. You, you can't. You have to go the direction that you're facing and that's, that's just the way the cookie crumbles with Steve. But. I'm yeah right here. I'm sir. I'm I'm sir that uh, sir sure that they were just trying to do uh maybe place a platform, switch direction, and then go up B. But unfortunately, uh, that's, that's just not what happened today. Yeah, I, I'm right first place Steve, and uh, I had to do this up, up B Elytra recovery, and I really just did not understand what was going on. I was like, why can I switch direction? So that's that's actually one of Steve's downfalls, in my opinion. If you're not able, if you if you don't recognize that you're facing the wrong way, and you don't place a block to uh, switch your direction in time, uh, it sucks. And I'm not sure if there's actually a way to switch direction in the air as Steve before you are able to recover. I'm sure Steve Fanatics will know better than I, because I. I don't play this character, okay? I play hero, and I don't play a good hero. So, 